Death has tragically knocked at our door, robbing us of our beloved son, brother, and grandson, Costa Titch, who South Africa had come to love and idolize. It is with deep pain that we find ourselves having to acknowledge his passing at this time. We are thankful for the emergency responders and all those who were present during his last hours on earth. As a family, we are faced with a difficult time as we try to make sense of what has befallen us and ask that we be afforded the time and space to gather ourselves. We thank you for the love and support you have given our son and may you continue to uplift him even in spirit. Please keep us in your prayers and uplifted in the Lord. This was a statement published by Costa's family and team. Having dropped timeless bangers and collaborated with mega stars like AKA, Ricky Rick and Akon, 27-year-old Costa Titch was a certified superstar who unfortunately met his demise while performing on the ultra stage on the 12th of March, 2023. He initially fell while blessing his fans with his energetic and unique dance moves. One of his dances instantaneously lifted him up, making his fall look like a cool dance move, which was done deliberately. Seconds later, he fell again. This time, he fell off the stage and hit the ground inches before his shocked fans. As his team and security personnel rushed to check on him, he was kicking and jerking in an uncontrollable manner, as though he was having an epileptic seizure. His team, together with the ultra security personnel, lifted him up and took him backstage so he could receive medical attention and assistance. Unfortunately, Costa Titch had passed away before they even got backstage, leaving everyone who was present traumatized, heartbroken and flabbergasted. that death is inevitable. We will never get used to it. It never seems to make sense. Thus, countless assumptions and speculations always come about as a means to cope and provide clarity. Considering the fact that Costa Titch had just signed a global partnership with Akon and Convict Culture, Many people allege that he had sealed a covenant with the Illuminati and sold his soul to the devil. As it is believed that most international artists dabble in dark dealings. Other people assert that the venue's strobe lights triggered an epileptic fit that eventually claimed Costa's life. Some are blaming Costa for subjecting himself to such, knowing his own medical history, while others are blaming the ultra event organizers for not having trained medical personnel assist Costa immediately. 
I just want to say, I also went to Radford House and we had lots of kids at our school with epilepsy. And they taught us first aid in case one of our classmates has an epileptic fit in primary school. The first thing you do is that you ensure that they don't swallow their tongue and choke on it. That's the first thing you're supposed to do when someone is having an epileptic fit and they're throwing their feet around while lying on the floor. You ensure that you secure them and that they don't bite their tongue off or that they don't swallow it as well and choke on their own saliva, a whole lot of things. Went wrong with how um, Costa, number one, fell and then when he fell to the ground was carried away without the appropriate health checks being done. So there's a concept, right? When someone causes a negligent death, knowing full well that their actions could cause the death of somebody, when you don't have proper first aid officials being the first responders and attending to someone, it's called dolus eventualis. If your action could cause likely or probable death and you are aware that it could and still proceed, with your actions, then you are not only guilty of killing someone, you are guilty of murdering them. That is in South African law, dolus eventualis. Oscar Pistorius should have known that shooting through a bathroom door could cause someone to be seriously injured or killed. And that is why he was found guilty of murder, dolus eventualis. Justice for Costa Teach. Unfortunately, no amount of should'ves, could'ves, and would'ves can bring the young king back to life. He certainly had a bright future ahead of him. And although his life was cut short, his music, dance moves, and spunky spirit shall live on. Rest in eternal peace Big Flexer, you will always be a Kalagata.
let the fire burn And what you're doing, make it live and inspire